We are in the ancient theatre of Plovdiv in Bulgaria. The city is one of two European capitals of culture for 2019. Stay with us to find out why Plovdiv won this distinction, but also why Bulgaria is one of the fastest upcoming tourist destinations in Europe. Plovdiv is the second largest city in Bulgaria and one of the oldest continually inhabited cities in Europe, from around the 6th century BC. Today it's a modern, vibrant city. It serves as the administrative, academic, economic, commercial and transportation centre of the south-central region of Bulgaria. As a city, what do you hope to get, to gain from being the European capital of culture for 2019? The city of Plovdiv has two main goals. Uh, to be much more popular and uh, attractive, through the, especially through the European audience, to make city uh, much more visible, and on the other side, uh, to double the tourism. We expect that uh, we received uh, around 2 million visitors during 2019. Why should someone visit Plovdiv? We have great events, uh, music festivals, opera festival. Plovdiv is one of the hottest spots that you can visit. It's still cheaper, not so crowdy. On the other side, half a million people, very dynamic city. Plovdiv's old town is a must-see. Visitors can walk around and admire the wonderful traditional houses, which date back to the Renaissance period. Today, one of these houses hosts the city's ethnographic museum. The old town of Plovdiv has been on the UNESCO World Heritage tentative list since 2004. Plovdiv is a unique city. It has a long history, an amazing culture and a very beautiful old town. It also has many nice restaurants and very good sports facilities. It's an old city with a young spirit. The old town hosts many artists and craftsmen. The aim is to familiarise tourists with ceramic jewellery and traditional clothes. I use traditional methods and techniques, but I try to do it in a modern way. I make scarves, aprons and handkerchiefs using traditional shapes and forms, suitable for people of our times. So this is Plovdiv. Our next destination is Varna, known as the maritime capital of Bulgaria. The city gets hundreds of thousands of visitors a year. Let's find out why. Varna is a seaside resort and the third largest city in Bulgaria. The tourism sector has become increasingly significant for the economy. In 2017, Bulgaria saw a 7.6% rise in tourism, with some 8.9 million foreign tourists, leading to a 9.3% increase in income from tourism. The contribution of tourism to the Bulgarian economy is approximately 18-20% in our GDP. Um, of course, when we are talking about Varna, the contribution is a little bit more because um, approximately 70% of the beds in, in our country are located on the Black Sea coast. The city is famous for its magnificent beach and its deep blue waters. Varna boasts 340 hotels, plenty of restaurants, coffee bars, shops and a great nightlife. We joined a free walking tour organised by the city's Tourist Information Centre, where we learned about Varna's rich history. All the visitors agreed that Varna is a destination which satisfies all tastes. Varna should be visited because of its um, very rich uh, cultural heritage. Uh, we would like to attract more people to the town and uh, encourage them not to only stay in the resort and enjoy the seaside, but also spend some time to learn more, to see more, to experience more of the atmosphere of the city. 
a very nice town. It has nice um, places. It has a good history. It has lovely museums. And uh, also you can relax on the beach. And I think you have uh, things for everybody. Plovdiv and Varna. Hopefully in the last six minutes we showed you why your next trip should be to Bulgaria. In this episode we also saw how tourism contributes to the country's economic growth. That's it from Spotlight. Goodbye and thanks for watching.